and N8N just made AI agents in their platform way more powerful with a dedicated perplexity node. So in today's video, my goal is to show what of a difference that node makes for AI agents when it comes to research, marketing workflows, and all other AI agents, and how easily you can implement that node in N8N. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer screen. And first things first, I just want to mention that uh, this whole workflow is going to be in my community. Also in my community, you can find all of my other workflows uh, that you can download, you can find the tutorials. So just wanted to put that out there. But this is the new perplexity node that is here. And the first thing that I wanted to show is how much of a difference uh, in the building of AI agent it makes. Because previously, as you can see, when I wanted to reuse the same setup for perplexity, I had to build a separate workflow that would be triggered by AI agent. And for example, this research agent is making call to a perplexity tool where I have this prompt called this tool for research. And then I have to build a separate workflow where then I have to pre-configure an HTTP request with uh, the method, the URL, add separate credentials, then have uh, the, you know, JSON configured, have system message. And if I have, if I want to have different system messages, then I have to build two different workflows. So it was just a mess and it was very inconvenient to keep track of like all of the additional workflows or tools you're building just for perplexity. But with the current approach that they did, it became so much simpler. For example, we have the AI agent, we give the chat model, the brain of the AI agent, and then we can add the perplexity tool by simply adding a node. So I'm going to show you what of a difference it actually makes. We're going to run it uh, without the perplexity and with perplexity. But for example, here, you can see how easy of a setup it is. We simply add a description for the tool. So this is all we use perplexity tool to do the research before providing uh, the answer. Then we select a model. In this case, you can select any of the models from the perplexity. And we put the message and then we add a recency filter. So for example, it's very easy to configure uh, like what time frame you want the perplexity to use. So for example, I want it to do the research only from the past week, what it finds on the web. So that's also super easy to implement. But now let's do it step by step. And so for example, I'm just gonna open my environment, the new tab, and I'm gonna create a workflow. Uh, so the first thing you will need to do is actually go on uh, the trigger and put on chat message. This is going to be for the AI agent. Then you're just going to click plus. Then I'm going to press on AI and AI agent. This is by default going to select the tools AI agent so you don't have to do anything. And you have to add the chat model. For this, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to just add it open AI chat model. Uh, GPT-41 for, for mini works for me. And then, for example, you can add the perplexity. So let's say we add the perplexity tool like so. And let's imagine um, we don't have anything configured. And what I can do is I type in, let's say, um, write me a newsletter about the most recent open AI news like so. And if I'm going to trigger it, you will see that this node fails, but I'm going to show you how we can fix that later on. But for example, let's trigger it. And it's going to run the OpenAI chat model because it's a brain. Then it's going to try to uh, make a call to perplexity, but it can because we didn't configure one thing. And then it's going to output uh, a newsletter. So for example, it's going to be pretty much very, very generic. Latest AI model releases, the head of the new integrations and partnerships, and OpenAI continues to expand its ecosystem through strategic partnerships, advanced in AI ethics and safety. So basically, it gave us a very, very general um, stuff. There's nothing new. Um, so definitely, you can see that whoever, for example, wrote this newsletter didn't do any research. But now let's configure the perplexity node the right way. So the first thing we will need to do is set up the credentials. So to do that, you're going to click on create a new credential, then we're actually going to need to go to perplexity. So I'm going to type in 
Perplexity Settings API. We're going to go into the API settings. So for this, uh, go to perplexity.ai slash account slash API slash group, or uh, I think group is not even needed, but then go into API keys. And this is going to show me my API key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go into the workflow and I'm going to simply paste this API key. I'm going to save it and credential successfully saved. I can exit it out and I have the account. Then we have the tool description. So it is set automatically, but in this case, I want to set it manually. So what I want to say is use this tool every time before providing an answer to do additional research. And with this prompt, you simply ensure that AI agent uses the tool every time. So it's not spitting out a general answer. Then for the models, we can use uh, our one, I think is DeepSeek uh, that is hosted in USA. So you can use that one, or you can use, for example, Sonar, the most simple one uh, for the text. So actually I'm gonna go into the mapping and I'm just gonna add chat input. And actually this was the reason why the AI agent kept failing uh, because it didn't have that chat input. Then the role user, if you want, you can add an additional system uh, prompt. In this case, I don't need it, but uh, that's the nice thing that you can configure the system prompt inside it and you don't have to have separate tools, etc. that I used to do every time. Then I'm gonna add an option and this is gonna be search recency filter. And I'm gonna select, maybe let's select a month. So we want the, the uh, latest news about OpenAI from the last month. So we're going to have it like that. And that's pretty much it. That's the, um, basically the whole setup for the perplexity node. But what I want to do now is I'm going to get that previous prompt. I'm going to copy it. So just remember how generic this newsletter was, right? Uh, and then I'm going to re reset that chat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trigger it with this exact same prompt. So now this time it's gonna run the AI agent and it's gonna call the perplexity node. So it's gonna take its time to actually do the research. And again, you can use the deep research uh, model in that way the research is gonna be much more extensive, but again, it's gonna cost a bit more, um, but I have personally used it um, in the past to actually get really, really good uh, results for, for example, blog writing, article writing, et cetera, with the deep research. But uh, we can see that right now we got a lot more um, research newsletter, for example, OpenAI newsletter, July 2025 edition. So again, this would be, you know, you would need to add more prompts to uh, tell specifically what type of newsletter you want. But for example, OpenAI set to launch GPT-5 this summer, a unified AI breakthrough, then a key feature is GPT-5, industry context and future outlook. So it really did the research and there's news about GPT-5 and that has been included in the newsletter. Whereas in the previous step, the, there was no research. It was very generic and it was very boring. So this is a very, very, very simple way how you can make your AI agents way more advanced and way more powerful. And with this simple node, your marketing workflows uh, can become much better. Your sales workflows for the research can become much better. So um, previously, I loved using perplexity and it was one of my favorite tools. I was just so annoying to set it up every time. Whereas now I definitely going to utilize this probably on like 90% of the AI agents that I'm going to build. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe and join the community. If you want to learn more about N8 and AI automation and more things AI. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.